What's up, what's up, Nick Loper here from SideHustleNation.com. And today I wanna to give you an inside look at one of the most important and powerful tools that I use to run and grow my business, and that's ActiveCampaign. So I've been an ActiveCampaign uh, customer, an ActiveCampaign user for a little over a year, and I've really grown to like it and to rely on it to manage my email list, which is 65,000 subscribers strong at this point. And honestly, it's the most important asset in my business. So there's a lot of trust that I placed into ActiveCampaign. I definitely shopped a bunch of other email service providers before making the switch, but ultimately settled on ActiveCampaign for three main reasons. The first is really powerful email marketing and marketing automation. Active campaign does a lot of things, but first and foremost, my use case is as an email delivery service. And that they do very well with some strong deliverability rates and some really cool automation features to engage subscribers and really to put certain elements of your business and your marketing on autopilot. Reason number two was sophisticated segmentation. One of my biggest frustrations with my previous email service provider was the limited options for filtering and segmenting subscribers. In ActiveCampaign, you can slice and dice your list in just about every conceivable way, and that means you can reach the right people with the right message at the right time. And reason number three is affordable pricing. So Active Campaign starts at just $15 a month, which is about half of what similar services like ConvertKit charge. And you can drop that down even lower with an annual plan. My friend who introduced me to Active Campaign called it Infusionsoft functionality at MailChimp prices. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. So whether you're just starting out or you already have thousands of subscribers, I think Active Campaign may be the best bang for your marketing automation buck. So let's dive in and take a look under the hood and see what's going on inside the interface. When you log in, this is your uh, account dashboard and it kind of gives you a high level overview of what's going on in your account. It'll give you your number of active subscribers, kind of a trend line, which looks relatively flat, but that's just because it <laughs> doesn't zoom out far enough. And you have a kind of a feed of the recent activity of these, this many people subscribe, this many people unsubscribe, this many people click through. You've got a, a dashboard view of the campaigns. Those are broadcast emails or newsletters that are going out, um, the automations that you have in your top contacts. The main metric that I track in here is kind of daily new subscribers and so you can achieve that under this contact report and you can kind of see if it fluctuates you know 116 new contacts 166 and it just you know average you can look and see okay if there were some spikes you know what marketing effort may have led to that you can kind of dive into those metrics or if like you know it went way down you're like what happened on this day and you can try to figure out what's going on in there. So if we go back to the dashboard, you'll notice that the account or the, the interface is set up with a handful of kind of primary areas. There's contacts, campaigns, automations, lists, forms, and reports. So if you're brand new to Active Campaign, where you'll probably start is here with forms. Forms are, you know, your sign up forms, your intake forms for how people are going to get onto your list, right? So I've got you know, dozens of these forms set up. You can see, uh, you know, how many entries, how many people have subscribed via each of those. But if you're just getting started, you probably start with new form. So it'll ask you to name your form. I'm going to call this test form. Um, and one thing to note, I'm on the Active Campaign Lite plan, which means certain features are not available to me, but all the functionality that I need is. Uh, is available on the light plan. Um, so some of these, you know, floating bar, floating boxes, you can achieve with other software tools, or if you want to do it all inside Active Campaign, uh, you can do that here uh, as well, if that makes sense for you. So um, you name your form, you pick a style. In my case, I only have one option. Um, what action do you want to have happen when somebody uh, submits that form. In my case, I want to subscribe that person to my newsletter and there's other actions uh, that you can add as well, but uh, you can actually do that on the next scr next screen. So here's your test form. Um, you know, you can change this, subscribe for email updates. That's not a, that's not the best call to action in the world. So I would probably sexy that up a little bit. Um, if you mouse out of here, you could say full name. Okay. I don't really need to collect full name, but I'll call this first name. And you can also change the, the styles of these, um, 
uh, of these buttons and fields as well if you want to play around with different color codes and, and all that probably more importantly and you can change the look and feel uh, of it but more importantly is okay what do you want to do after somebody submits this form so you have the option to show a generic thank you thank you for signing up or you can direct people to a particular URL on your site, like a thank you page that has you know, an upsell, or maybe it has a survey for people to respond, or maybe it has a, a next call to action, like follow me on social media or sign up for this webinar. So that's a really cool feature as well. And then you decide, okay, what other actions? If somebody subscribes to this list, what else do I know about that? Maybe the lead magnet is related to blogging or something. So I could tag, um, I could select action, you know, add a tag, blogging if somebody, you know, is uh, signs up for this. So that's something that I can do in forms. And then um, you'll hit integrate, and this will give you the embed uh, code for how you want to actually put this on your website. All right, let's exit out of here, and we'll go into what happens next after somebody signs up. One important note is if you decide you want to add a tag, you want to have some action later, you don't have to worry about that if you forget to do it at the time of the form submission, because what you can do is click on this entries button and it'll show you everybody who's signed up from that form. And so you can click view all form contacts. And then from here, it's really easy to uh, do a bulk edit and say, okay, if all these people signed up for this form, this form is related to topic XYZ, I can add a tag, I can add them to an automation, I can remove certain tags, I can add them to a sub list, all sorts of cool stuff from there. But let's dive in to the automations feature, because this is something that's really cool inside of Active Campaign. The first thing, uh, you know, if, if this is blank for you on a new account, you might look at a new automation and it'll one thing that's cool is they have a bunch of like off the shelf ones that you can kind of customize to your needs so i'm using some of these engagement tagging ones where um, you know if somebody opens an email they'll get tagged as engaged if somebody doesn't open email for a long period of time they'll get tagged as inactive and you could start to send re-engagement campaigns i think those are really powerful but for the sake of this demo let's uh, let's start one from scratch so the first thing that you do is, okay, how is somebody going to enter this automation? Are they going to subscribe to a list? Let's say they uh, have a tag added to them. They open a form. There are a bunch of different ways that somebody could enter an automation. But the most common one is probably somebody subscribes to your list. So let's, let's play around with that one. So subs someone subscribes to any list. It's going to run once, um, and then you can create certain segments. You can, you can do that uh, later as well. But let's say somebody subscribes to any list, and then it's going to ask, okay, well, what happens next? And so since I primarily use Active Campaign as an email provider, let's say send email. Okay, you don't have any emails to send. Let's create an email to get started. So it kind of walks you through this process step by step. Or you can name an email, so we'll call this welcome message. And then it'll bring up the screen where you can e either use one of these like pre-built templates that Active Campaign has, or you can build uh, build your own email from scratch. So for the sake of, of this one, you can kind of you know do what you want with this. You know, text only, however you want to do your email. Email subject line, you know, welcome to Side Hustle Nation something like that, right? And and you can go on about your about your day there. What I want to go back and and show you is kind of how I have the automations set up in in Active Campaign. So let's go back out of here and you can see um, one of the coolest things for me was to send subscribers down the most relevant path uh, for them based on what I know. How can I be more relevant, more helpful based on what I know about them? So if somebody opted in for in our example blogging for instance i can send them a series of emails some service providers call this you know autoresponders or call this courses i can send them a series of emails specifically related to blogging and i think that is really really powerful so um, you know for example i can send them and it's going to be hard to fit on one screen but 
uh, you know, I could send them, hey, have they already opted in for something else? That's what already already onboarded means in, in my case. So I don't want to send them down uh, a second path where they may have already received those emails. But they're going to get uh, messages like, hey, here are the first five emails that you ought to have. Here are some ways to get more traffic to your site. Here are some of my favorite free plug plugins. It's all stuff related to, you know, if somebody wants to build a blogging business, it should be super relevant to them. And the other cool thing that you can do inside of automation is actually under the reports tab. If you look at the automation reports, you can see how people are engaging with uh, the automations that you have both on a high level and at a really granular level um, on a message by message basis. So here under automation reports, it'll show you how many people are going through each of these automations or have been through each of these automations and it'll tell you the percentage of people that have interacted with that. So in the case of the blogging one, 70% of people have opened one of those messages, which is, is pretty powerful and is probably higher than what I was seeing uh, with my old kind of one size fits all autoresponder. So if I, and then if you open up the uh, specific automation, it'll show you each of the messages in there and how they're doing in terms of open rate and, uh, and click through rate. So uh, very powerful stuff inside the automation reports. The other main thing that I do with active campaign is send out a newsletter. And so that's going to be under your campaigns tab. So if we bounce over to campaigns, you'll have a kind of an overview of, you know, the most recent campaigns that uh, that you sent. And, you know, how, and if you click on, you know, the individual reports, you can see, okay, how many people open that you can, you know, do some sorting and stuff on here too. But if you're just starting out again, you probably look at the uh, new campaign feature, you'll name your campaign. You can pick which sub segment of your list to send that to. So if you have certain segments set up, and I'll show you in a minute how to get those. Uh, you can send to certain segments of that list if you don't want to blast everybody. And then it'll go to, okay, how do you want to design this email? And again, it'll give you the template choices, or you can kind of build your own from scratch. So here are some of our template choices, or again, uh, you can, you know, start, start fresh and, and do your own thing. Under the campaign reports, you can kind of see how people are interacting with your different campaigns. Let's back out of here and go to the campaigns. So this will give you kind of the dashboard overview of how people are interacting with your campaigns, how many they were sent to, how many people opened it. So I tend to send in two batches, which I don't know if you would want to mess around with that or not. Um, you know, the most engaged subscribers get the message first. That's why you see a high open rate and then one that's tagged non-engaged. So people that haven't opened a message recently get sent to second and typically has a much lower open rate. If we go to the contacts tab, I'm going to show you how some of these filters work and some of the segmentations work. So what's cool in here is um, a couple things. First, you can customize the columns that that you want to see uh, in you know on this dashboard screen. You can sort by date created if you want to look at just the most recent people added. And if you click on any of these specific people, you can see uh, a couple things. So let's see, see if we pick on her. You can see what form they signed up through. So this uh, person signed up for one called May. I and mean, just had to pick the one that's the hardest to pronounce, May Najafabadi. Um, and it's cool, I think it's cool that it's pulling in an avatar if it, if it finds that person using the same email address um, elsewhere online. And in this case, they pulled in a Twitter profile. Sometimes you'll see Facebook and LinkedIn here as well, which I think is cool if you're using Active Campaign you know, as a sales tool or as, as a more CRM uh, than I am. But let's go and let me show you some of the filters. And, and one of the filters that I use most frequently is um, the geo targeting. So you can, um, let's see if I hit geography and I use the area code one a lot for, you know, hosting certain meetups. So say I want to have a meetup in Seattle and I want to search for everybody in the 206 area code. So it'll spin for a minute and it'll create that sub list. And if I want to save this as a segment, I can do that here. Okay, so I can call this segment Seattle, something like that. The other segments that you can do, I mean, you can slice and dice just about any way 
possible. So oftentimes I will do, okay, they haven't opened this message or they didn't click on this link. I want to resend a message to make sure that people saw it. That's kind of some of the stuff uh, that I do in there. And you can make edits to certain subscribers if you want to as well. Like if they, you know, didn't punch in their first name, but it looks like John Smith at gmail.com, you can guess that the name is John, whatever uh, that you want to do there. So that is kind of my overview of Active Campaign. If you're ready to take Active Campaign for a test drive of your own, uh, you can do so with a 14-day free trial through my affiliate link, sidehustlenation.com slash active campaign. And of course, for the sake of disclosure, if you do end up signing up for a paid plan after that trial, I will get a commission on that purchase, sidehustlenation.com slash active campaign. And of course, that's at no extra cost to you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comments below this video, and I'll do my best to get you an answer on that. Until next time, thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hustle on.